We've heard it all. Cashback, rewards points, delayed payment options. They all make credit cards seem extremely attractive, yeah. don't they? But they can also lead to serious consequences if not monitored properly. Analysts say opting to use cash or debit payments instead can help keep spending in check, especially in this era of high inflation. Talk more about this personal finance expert at Newark Wallet. Kimberly Palmer is with us on when you might want to consider a credit card hiatus. Huh. Uh, Kimberly, so good to see you. So when should someone take a break from these credit cards? Well, the problem is that it's really easy to overspend when you're using credit cards. They feel good to use. It almost feels like you're not even spending real money. So the trick is to notice if this is happening to you, if credit cards are really causing you to overspend. So it takes looking at your budget and thinking, when you go out and use a credit card, are you spending more than when you use cash? And if the answer is yes, then it might be time to give yourself a little break. And we actually found at NerdWallet that 15% of Americans are stopping using credit cards together all together right now because interest rates are so high. So mm. there's a lot of reasons to consider taking this break. And you know, now there, there are like other options or other ways that you can use your credit card. I'm thinking about those like multiple payment options that we've mm. been seeing, like every website yeah. will give you a breakdown of how you can just spend $4.99 over. Later. Exactly. Yeah. But you know, all that stuff adds up. And we've had conversations about people really finding themselves in debt without even knowing it. So if you see that you are spending more whenever you have a credit card, it feels like free money, what are some of the steps you can take to kind of reverse course before you're really in trouble? Well, the first step is to set your credit card aside for a period of time. And with that said, it's important to make sure you are keeping your credit cards open if they are really valuable to you and you don't want them to be shut down. Right. So you might want to put a small recurring fee on your credit card just to make sure it stays open. But after you do that, you can set it aside and turn to cash. You know, you can use cash. When people use cash, it's very tangible mm -hmm. and you can tell it's real money. And so it's easier to budget. Some people even like using a cash cash-based budgeting approach for their whole week. And you can divvy up your cash and spend it that way. And that way you're making sure that you're keeping your spending under control. Yeah, I've seen people do, is it envelope stuffing? Whenever you mm -hmm. put a certain amount of cash in an envelope and you say it's this it, for X, this for Y, because I mean, it still sounds like a better idea than putting your credit card in ice and putting it in the freezer <laughs> and just saying, okay, <laughs> we're not going to touch you. Uh, you know, when should though you use a credit card? Is there a good time to do that? There is. And I think it's so worth noting all of the benefits of credit cards because we're certainly not saying, you know, never use a credit card because credit cards come with so many benefits. Number one is fraud protection. You get some built in fraud protection when you use a credit card. If you lose your cash, that's it. You have no way of getting it back. But if you have a fraud on your credit card, there are ways to get that money back. Credit card companies offer a lot of protections under law in that way. There's also rewards. So you can earn rewards, uh, miles, uh, whatever it is that you want to be working towards if you like to travel or you like to earn cash back. So credit cards certainly come with all kinds of benefits, not to mention, you know, the convenience of using a credit card. It's just very easy to do, which of course leads us back to the fact that it's so easy to overspend as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a balance and you have to figure out what's best for you. Kimberly Palmer, thank you very much. Thank you.